This video is about understanding solid angle. But before asking what is a solid angle, let's ask yet another simple question. That is, what is a plane angle? Like if you don't understand what is a plane angle, you can't understand what is a solid angle. So I need to make sure you know what is a plane angle. And after that, from the plane angle, we are going to derive the solid angle. So listen very carefully. So let us ask what is a plane angle and how do we define it? So now I will draw something and till then think in your mind, how will you define a plane angle to a five year old? So let us make a curve like this and name the two points at its end A and B. Now let's take another point O. Right? Now we will join this OA and OB. Now if I ask you where is the angle here, you will say it's right here. Right? And we call it theta. Right? Simple. Now what if I ask you what is theta? How will you define theta? Now most of you will say theta is the ratio of the length this length of this curve right and the length of this line that is r now this is the approximated definition of theta that is the angle and we say that this theta angle is the angle subtended by this curve at this point o and we call that theta but what exactly this theta is telling us so now listen to this very carefully that this theta is telling us the rotation of this line OA with respect to OB like think there was a line OB at this point and there was also a line OA right above this line now we start drawing a curve and the line OA was glued to the other point of the curve which we start drawing and this line started rotating with respect to this line so we need something to tell us how much this line is rotating with respect to this line and we call that this theta and this is the formula of theta now see here what is the unit of length we say like let us say meter right as a unit and r is also length so it's meter so theta is a unit less quantity but we normally say it's degrees radians etc so why do we do that now from the formula we can see that this is a unit less quantity but we give it unit why because theta can be measured in various ways like we say radian when we say the angle subtended by a full circle at a point at its center is 2 pi that is 2 pi angle and I mean, if we do this then we say we are measuring in radians but what if we say the angle subtended by a full circle is 360 then we call it a degree so it is telling that how we are measuring the rotation so this unit is to remind us the measurement that how we measured it if you measured in radians then it's right and you have to do it in radians if you are measuring in degree then you have to measure it in degree both are important and pi radian is equal to 180 degree and 2 pi is 360 that you all probably know so now we know what is a uh, angle and why do we define it so now let's tinker this formula what we will do is this what if i multiply this l by another l so l multiply by l and what if i multiply this r with another r like i am multiplying by length both upper side and lower side it won't change the units right now you can't like it is not rationalizing it's something else let me show you r into r now it's l into l is a area right a surface so surface divided by r square so now this is the solid angles formula if the surface is oriented normal now i will tell you what happens if it's not oriented normal 
also the solid angle is represented by omega so now what is this telling us i can surely say this is not telling us this so now what this formula physically mean so now let's take a curve like this a surface or something and we join its all points like this at a single point let's say o and we say that the surface subtends an angle omega omega at that point and that is known as a solid angle so now see here what if this curve is not normal to the point o let's say if this is not oriented normal the line is oriented this way and we want to know the angle now what we will do is simple we will just like take this l and make a normal to it and we also take this normal and measure this angle theta and we say that and we take the normal part to take the normal part we just need the cos theta component of this l so the angle then theta will be the l cos theta divided by r it's simple and this definition of angle always remember that is a approximation like uh, this curve is taken as a straight line for small angle approximations so now if this surface is also not oriented normal to the point o then the definition becomes this that is s cos alpha let's say that angle is alpha r square divided by r square that's omega that's the general definition of circle if it's oriented like normal this alpha becomes zero and we get this definition also and now let's talk about its units and the unit of the solid angle is stay radian and also we define that a circle subtend angle this 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 also now what is the like uh, surface version of a circle we know sphere so we say a sphere subtends a 4 pi stay radian solid angle so with this now you know everything you need to know about what is a solid angle it is just a surface version of the plane angle and we need this in like ghost law in electrostatics and many other places where we need angle subtended by a surface like we need how the surface is extended in space at a single point with like viewing it from a single point which will give us some electric flux etc etc and it is a really important concept also from here you can see the length of a circle is like 2 pi r and dividing it by r give us 2 pi so from this we can say it substance a 2 pi radian angle and the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square and dividing it by r square give us 4 pi so we say the sphere substance a, a angle of 4 pi so with this the solid angle should be clear to you so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything